In today's video, I am continuing on my project of filling this folio with more collages on the left hand side. Today, I'm going to be looking at envelopes, particularly vintage envelopes, ones that I can take apart or use portions of in my collages. In addition to envelopes, I will also be again looking at illustrations of furniture, French furniture that I can use, and then just using other vintage papers to kind of round out the collage. All right, so I have how many to fill? One, two, three, four collages that I'm going to work on today. I have some vintage envelopes, some covers as they're called. Um, they're not French and I, I originally had been going with a French theme. That's okay because most of this is going to be covered up anyway. If I need to, I can add some French stamps. I have a few, but I also just kind of want to, you know, use any kind of vintage envelope that I have really. Okay. So, and then I have, you know, just a bunch of papers that I'm going to use. I started playing around with one possibility already. So this is a, a nice envelope and I, I have my pocket knife. My original plan was to separate them. Actually, I think I will. Let me try that. I'm going to separate because at some point I could use the back of this even if I just use the front now. I was thinking that I was not gonna separate them because the paper is so thin, but um, I really do wanna use both sides. So I'll be very careful and not to let this get any more destroyed than it really already is. So I'll leave that like that. So I want to use this. I have this really cool customs declaration form. I thought that I would use it back here. My piece of furniture, mm, I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I want to kind of, I probably do, these two pieces kind of complement each other. At least they're not too contrasting. Whereas opposed if I did something like this, it'd be a little bit too plain. I kind of like the color to stick out just a little bit. So I do like this purple one. This I found because it was originally on here. They were sharing the same piece. And I think I like it over here something like that so this 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 and then my little bouquet maybe bring this down so i'm just going to play around with the placement is that where i want that do i want it up here uh i think it's too crowded in there down here, just like that maybe. I want it to touch just a little bit, possibly like that. That looks good. So that's the kind of idea, that's the kind of thing that I'm looking to do in these collages today, right? Pretty simple. So let me get this glued down just so that in case I bump it, I don't lose track. Okay, here's the collage. It's clearly a letter and yet there's no stamp. So I do want to try and find a stamp. These are the French stamps I have. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to find something in here, but I guess I can try. That's actually kind of interesting. It's too long though, too big. I 
wonder if I could do something. Oh, here's two. I don't think I want green. I have this yellow. That orange is too bright. So my, my options are very limited. None of these are really, well, this one's kind of interesting. Maybe here, like that. I like it because it's got that little piece of extra paper. I think actually it'll do that. Let's see, how does that look? How about like that? But it, there's this hole right here. Hmm, rubber stamp. I have no stamps on this side, so I think I will put one over here. And it will probably be this blue one. I kind of like that there's already a little bit of blue here. So that's that's good. Okay, so let me glue this down first. Okay. Now, in this space, what can I put? Okay, I can put this in here. I wonder what color should I use? I can use blue. I can use black. I can use gray. Um, let's go with blue. So I have dark blue or I have teal. Let's try dark blue. I really am concerned that this is gonna be a little bit too much, however. So let me practice on a piece of paper first. Let's see if I have a scrap somewhere. Is that too much? No, it should be okay. That looks good. I like it. So this one is complete. So now I've got three more to go. All right, so I have finished my pages. Here they are. So I added an extra stamp onto down here. And um, yeah, that's that one. I also added a stamp here just to kind of add some of that to that blue. For this one, I used the inside of an envelope so that you could see the pattern paper and I also used a postcard, but just because I wanted the handwriting on there, since the, since the envelope was so, so plain. I added another stamp here, and this color kind of matches with the color in here. For this one, it, it is quite busy the way it was. So then I had a piece of map and then this calling card on the top. Um, it's in a it's, a, it's a French street name, so that worked out well. And then this blue chair kind of matches, or I think it does match actually, it's from the same set. So that's kind of good that that goes together. This last one is kind of interesting because it's a mess. It's, it's a envelope that was in bad shape. So I kind of left it that way with the kind of ratty edges. Just tack this down. And, um, you know, I, I cut it open. And so I used both sides. This is the back. And then here is the front. Also here, this was, this was just kind of folding down. And again, I kind of liked it like that. 
because you can see a little bit of the of the uh, you know the pattern and behind it so I thought I'd keep it that way so the first side is completely done so now I have this back here and I need to work on these pages which is quite a lot quite a lot I'll see if I can incorporate this in at some point it's just a bunch of postage stamps but so far so good so I hope you've been enjoying tagging along at this little book if I continue on to the additional pages I will record and show you how it goes. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you the next time. Thank you.